Though I have Fusion 360, engraving text is for me better with Enscape and no CIM. Since in Enscape, I can manipulate text better than in Fusion. Here's a logo made from a font already. The steps to make artistic fonts into an engraving file. Type the text. Convert object to path. Ungroup the path. Union all paths so the overlapping parts are merged into a nice engraving path. Save as Duxf12. This is the format Centroid can treats best. So now, time to launch Acorn CNCE. Create a new intercon file and load the engraving tool. Now, load the saved EDXF file created within Scape and set the zero reference point where the engraving should start. Select engraving and set the depth to the depth you want to have for one pass. The final depth will be set later. Now you can dial in the final depth of the engraving with the depth repeat. In this case, we want to go to 0.8M in 0.2mm steps. Take a look at the graph, and if it is okay, generate the G-code. Quite easy peasy. Since Enscape Ducks F12 export generates small vectors with sharp transitions, it is good to use Centroid's G-code smoothing to round the transitions from the straight vectors and smooth curves. With smoothing on and dialed in for this engraving, 
the path will not look like a bunch of streets. It is a smooth flowing engraving now, like it is supposed to be. The G-code generated with Intercon from the DXF file can be viewed by click on Edit in Notepad++. Time to start machining. But in this case, I was too lazy to set up the mill and use Commodic Simulation, also a freeware like Enscape. I think this is an easy and fast way to do CNC engraving without using expensive CIF software and for manipulating text from fonts for logos. Inksape is a very good and free tool. With Fusion 360, I would have used the DXF from Inkscape also, but that is not as fast as using Intercon to generate a usable G code for a plain engraving. Maybe some router software like Vectric VCarve is as fast for this job, but it is not free.